Hello my friends, this is the Tesla one month overview for July 2022. It's currently June 7th, 2022, 12.08 a.m. So the overall theme and behavior will be either entering the month in, in rally form along a diagonal trend line or, or just ended it like from the last month. I, I didn't really look into June for Tesla, but um, in any case, it's breaking down through, the main theme is breaking down through uh, a diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down. It's crossed with a uh, sharp decline, notable decline, one of the biggest decline cards, sharp decline through an important support level. Um, it's also an important low on a multi-day multi, multi -day chart. This will be an important low. Possibly even like on a multi-month chart, this will be a, there'll be an important low in here. All right, so behavior on the high, we have uh, three three pokes through the same price level, which we'll call peace, the peace card, um, followed by a sharp decline off of that third poke. Um, and that, the, the high will form somewhere around there. Uh, and then or it'll form with some sort of behavior with three pokes and a, and a decline. And then the behavior around the month's lows is gonna be a, a failure through support to a secondary support. You bounce along that for a bit and then we break down through multiple supports. It'll be a, a steep decline. Um, steep decline, yeah. All right, so Sneak preview for the following month as well is a move higher along diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance to meet a secondary resistance, and then pulling back to the somewhere between those two price levels. Um, so that makes you know that makes that gives even more weight to the fact that there's uh, a significant low co uh, correlating with the theme card for the month of July. Um, on the first, we have two things could happen with this card there could either be like a, a poke higher and then back down um kind of like a triangular shape or there's a holding pattern with a with like a move like that um something to do with congress or foreign foreign legislative branch um there's two local highs and a local low and one swing trade opportunity so what i mean by local highs guys is that if you look at a one day chart um for the first there'll be two prominent crests and there's also a local low so there'll be one prominent trough <clears throat> market's actually closed here <clears throat> it's open until 2 p.m on the first uh because we have july 4th here All right, so uh, the, for the two local highs, one of those is gonna be a good cash-in opportunity. Um, looks like we move higher and create new support out of old resistance, and then there's a cash-in opportunity while bouncing along that price level. Um, the low is gonna form after we fall through support to meet support, and then we bounce along that rotationally speaking. Uh, there's The trade opportunity has to do with um, the end of a period of volatility marked by a fast sudden move to the upside. We have one local high on the 5th, um, and we fall, uh, there's a trade opportunity at that high, a cash-in opportunity at that high. Okay, so on the 1st, likely want to likely want to buy calls at the low. And then on the 5th, cash in on those calls of the local high and then there's a there's steep decline through multiple support levels on the fifth on the sixth we have a, a fast sudden move to the upside notable rally on a, on a multi-day chart um, there's two local lows one is going to have um, a, a prominent move on a one day chart uh, out of it and then the other one is going to form when we have a move higher through resistance and we stay above the resistance briefly before breaking back down through the same price level there um, on the seventh, we have three local highs, a local low, and a swing trade opportunity.
um, at one of the local highs there, uh, there's a cash in opportunity or a roll a roll of options like there's a trade opportunity there one of the highs forms when we successfully turn resistance into new support and then from one of the highs there's a notable decline um, on a one-day chart there'll be a notable decline there uh, and the local low will actually decline to a support level uh, through one support level to a support level and then bounce along that support level sideways and the local low will form like that um, the trade, it's it's a good day for cashing and cashing in on trade, guys. We have ace of um, ace of discs, so an important support level on a multi-day chart should be highlighted here. Um, and the trade opportunity is, surrounds um, a period of volatility that it's mar that ends with a fast set move to the upside. All right, on the 8th, we have a, a rally that marks an opportunity to open up a short position. There's two local lows. Um, one of those local lows will be a big move to the upside on a, on a one-day chart. On uh, The other local low will form near a move higher through resistance, followed by a, a staying there briefly and then breaking back down. Um, on, the, uh, on the 11th, we have three local highs. Uh, local low um, and it looks like the main theme is going to be sideways rotation um, with in, with increase increasing bullish sentiment and momentum as we move forward into uh, throughout that day um, there'll be uh, a little low will form when we break down through uh, support to meet second support and then we roll rotate sideways along that and then the three highs one of those is going to mark a cash in opportunity um, after we've turned support uh, resistance into new support and from one of those local highs, there's going to be a notable drop. We probably do like a high down to a low and then to a high and then a higher high. That's my sense. On the 12th, we have a big move to the upside. This is likely uh, a month's high or a prominent crest here. Um, we have a big move to the upside, reaching for a distant resistance level. Um, and then on the 13th, we revisit past problems. Um, all of the buying really kind of halts. Um, and we have one local low after a sharp decline. Um, but from that local low, there's a notable move on a one-day chart to the upside. On the uh, 14th, we have sideways fluidity, so a rotation along support level, but with e roughly equal of bulls and bears. On the 15th, we have selling down to and through a support level and then back up to use it as support again. Um, and there'll be one local low there that forms near a move higher through resistance followed by uh, staying there briefly and breaking back down through the same price level. On the, what was it? On the 18th, we have um, profit taking from near overbought territory on the RSI. Um, there's a prominent dip on the on the fort on the uh, 18th a prominent prominent dip to the downside on the 18th on a multi-day chart um, and one local high that um, forms when we we start taking profits near overbought territory we have what appears to be the month's low um, here on the 19th and possibly the 19th and the 20th somewhere there 19th 20th this is definitely a prominent trough most likely this is the month's low um, and so we have one local high on the on the 19th uh, from that local high there's a notable decline on, on a one-day chart notable decline um, there's an opportunity to open up a long position in the midst of a sharp decline and we break down through a diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down. But there's also, I mean, the, the main theme for the day is a big push to the upside. We may, may push the upper end of support. So, hmm. And it looks like at the end of the day, we have a crest here. So low to high, and then it looks like we, we fail again on the, on the 20th. 
there's two local highs, a local low, a trade on a swing trade opportunity. So we had a swing trade opportunity on the um, 19th in the midst of that decline to open up long position. And then here on the 20th, um, there's a fa uh, fast sudden move to the upside, marking the end of a period of volatility. Um, and that's the opportunity to close out of that. It looks like we have our, our a low here. So we go from like a crest, a prominent crest or high here at the end of the 19th to um, a low mid to late in the day on the 20th after a notable decline on a, on a multi-day chart. Um, near one of the highs, there's opportunity to cash in on uh, uh, while rotating sideways. Um, and then one of the highs is gonna form when we successfully turn uh, support in, or resistance into new support. The local low forms when we break down through support to meet secondary support and then bounce along sideways, ro rotating along that. We have another sharp decline on the 21st, uh, correlating to the uh, hanged men card again here. Uh, and so on the 21st, we have a notable decline, but it's uh, it's, it ends with a marked move to the upside, marking that end of the de period of decline. On the 22nd, we, it looks like we may open lower on the 22nd, but there's two local highs and sideways, uh, sideways price swings with a bullish trend on the 22nd. Um, a cash in opportunity at one of those local highs when we're rotating sideways, and <clears throat> one of those local highs is gonna form when we have a notable decline on a one-day chart um, off of it. Some news comes out early uh, early on, on uh, Monday the uh, 25th. There's a big move to the upside and we have what appears to be the month's high here. This is likely month's high. It's definitely a month's uh, crest, prominent crest, but this is most likely the month's high here. There's a day trade opportunity here. Um, in the midst of a big move to the upside, possibly from being over, over, uh, oversold a bit. We probably go up, 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 and then at the end of the day on the 22nd, we fall hard from the tower. Um, we're overbought or oversold on, uh, on the 29th, and then we move push higher. So an early morning. Um, opportunity in the midst of, it, of a, a notable decline with increasing momentum. Um, there's an opportunity to trade to open up a long position and then when we hit resistance at a peace level um, and what appears to be uh, the month's high, there'll be an opportunity to get out. Um, on the uh, I said 29th, I meant 25th, jeez. Um, okay, so on the 26th, we have a big move to the upside, um, like on a, on a multi-day chart, it, it'll stand out a move to the upside there um, off of a support level, um, and the lo one local low there on the one-day chart, there'll be that big move to the upside out of that local low. Uh, on the uh, 27th, we have an agreement between two leaders highlighted or a possible merger of some kind here um opportunity near the one local hold uh the one local high to uh cash in on a trade opportunity here or roll a position it looks like possibly um and then we have a trade opportunity there's a day trade opportunity it looks like so we have um a period of volatility here on the 27th mark and it's end it ends with them uh marked by a fast sudden move to the upside uh however there's a, a definitive downturn that commences looks like early in the day or midday here um and then we have another month's prominent um trough here on the uh 28th uh, it, it looks like people are expecting us to break out through resistance and continue higher, but we don't. We fail to break out and we turn around and we decline as a result. There's a trade opportunity in the midst of a decline on that tw on the 28th here. Um, and, and a decline that increases the momentum as we move forward throughout the day. Um, and off of the, the local high is going to be a, a steep decline. Um, on the 
29th, we have a failed attempt to break through key resistance, followed by a decline through support and one local low, um, which forms at the end of a period of volatility that increases with volatility as we move forward throughout the day. The sneak preview card for the following month um, is a move higher along diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance, meaning a second one and then pulling back. So a pretty bullish card. Um, and it also goes with the with the theme here of a prominent low, uh, prominent low here where you see the prince of prince of cups, prince of cups, prominent low here um, to open up long positions on a on like a, a swing trade for like over a month into into August likely. Um, let me just double check that with my one my one year. Yes. So early August, we, even in the face of negative headwinds, we have a big move to the upside. Um, it's it's not over, unfortunately. There's definitely another decline in there, but looks like some good volatility. Um, so yeah, opportunity to open up some long positions here towards the end of the month um, and sell them in, in August. Looks like at the beginning of the month, very beginning of the month. Well, at the beginning of the month somewhere. All right, guys, uh, that's Tesla for July 2022. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more Tesla, hit that like button. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're really looking to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of July. That would be like the best birthday present on the planet. I would love that. Much appreciated for all of you supporting us. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Most importantly, when you make that money, pay it forward. I'll see you on the next one.